Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today's video, we're going to be checking out this new set of pencils that I just purchased from AliExpress. They are made by Nioni. If you're familiar, they do have a 120 set that's been out for quite some time. They're also sold under the Mark Art name on Amazon. And they're a pretty popular pencil, or they were a little bit more popular, I think more last year or the year before, I can't remember. But I know everybody was talking about them for a while out, out here in the coloring streets. So they kind of died down a little bit, I think. But I do really like them a lot, the 120 set. I was really interested in this set since I'm, you guys know, I'm really into coloring portraits. I like coloring skin a lot. And I came across these by accident, looking for something else, of course. That's always how I find things a lot of times. And they were under $20. They're like 18 something for a 24 set, um, which seems pretty average for like a skin tone set of pencils. I just purchased another set from AliExpress, the eight, their H&B pencils, they're called. And they were about the same price for 24. So I said, let's try them out. I am kind of putting myself on a pencil slow buy, as my friend Monet likes to call it. I'm trying not to buy too many more pencils, but when it comes to something like this, I was like, I have to try it. I love Nioni pencils. I haven't been using them quite as much as I would like to, but maybe this will spark something and get me into using them again. So I do have my 120 set. I pulled that out. So we're gonna do some comparisons and see if these colors are really new colors. Now I did get this info from directly from the manufacturer themselves, I asked, I was able to ask them if these are new colors and they told me, yes, they are new colors. And I had asked, are they the same pencil? You know, the actual core themselves, are they the same? And they told me similar materials, different color ratios. We're, yeah, so I do have my 120 set here. I actually purchased a 72 set first and then I think soon after they came out with a 120 set. And there are some differences between the 72 and the 120 set. I haven't really looked through them in a long time. Like I said, I haven't used these in quite some time, but I do remember there were some numbers were different in the 72 set and between the 72 and the 120 set. Um, but just like minor things, like a couple of numbers were different and different colors, but they don't have color names. The Mark Art ones do have, they did give those color names. But you know me, I love co to make color names. I ended up making my own color names for all 120 of these, pe of the colors. So I'm thinking I want to do that as well with these skin tone pencils. I probably end up doing that too. But um, funny story, well, not really that funny, but as soon as I finished making all these color names for all 120 of these pencils, now I did this before I even had a channel and I don't know, this sort of thing is kind of like fun for me. I had always wanted to, um, my dream job was always to make up, um, color names for like nail polishes or makeup or something. <laughs> and so I did this for fun, but it did take a lot of work. Um, I kind of like researched a lot of colors and color names, which I mean, I'm kind of familiar with like a lot of color names already, but I scoured the internet. I was looking up, I was like doing comparisons between the swatches and everything. So it took me a really long time to put this all together. And as soon as I did it, like soon after the Mark Art pencils came out onto the market on Amazon and they had color names, I was like, oh, I should have just waited. I would have had color names, but it was, it's more fun for me anyway to make my own color name. So, um, let's open up the box. Say like Crystal, stop talking about the 127. You want to see the new set. So this is the new ones. I did take the plastic off and I did take a peek at them already. And so there's 24. They have the nice little, I like when the trays come with these little elastics, nice and easy to pull out. Since these are a small set, I'm probably going to leave them in the tin. I probably won't put them in, uh, well, maybe I might, if I do like them, I might mix them in with um, my Starjoy Golds and my now H&B pencils are my new skin tone favorite. So I might mix them in with those if I do like them. Um, just upon first looking at them 
for skin tone colors. They do seem kind of like a lot of orangey kind of skin tones. This is the lightest one, which for me is not really bad because I do have a lot of skin tone pencils already. So I kind of like that they are a little bit different shades for me. But if I was just like a, if I didn't have a skin tone set already, this might not be ideal upon first glance. There are some, we do have to swatch them out, of course. They do have some correction colors as like green will tone down any redness. Um, if you're coloring and you find that you want to tone down any portions or if you don't want to if you're doing like a kind of a realistic face, you might want some place, some spots to look a little bit more redder or flushed and tone down other parts um, or create undertones. I know this navy kind of is a good undertone for really dark skin. You have the this kind of a lavender type of color that's good for really pale skin, kind of counteracts any yellowness and browns here. Um, I don't know if these are gray. Or what? These look very similar to each other. But anyway, we'll see when we swatch them. There's lots of pinks, nice pinks for blush. Um, like I said, for lighter skin tones, I don't know about the lighter skin tones, but we have to swatch them and see. I shouldn't say anything yet. But this is really interesting too. Let's see, look at the barrel. It says here, time to market 2022. And I thought that was strange that they would put that on there. That seems like something you would put on like a purchase order or something, <laughs> not, not the actual pencil themselves. But, um, so that's interesting. It says colored pencil, Nyoni, and then the number is NS1049. I'm assuming the NS means Nyoni skin, probably. And then the other side is, it says painting oiliness. And then another number that doesn't, that's a different number from this number. So are those all the same number on the back? Or, oh, I guess this must be um, like their manufacturer or the style number of the pencil probably, I'm assuming. So let's take one of these. Naomi pencils from the 120 set. See, like these two look really similar. Oh, actually the paint color looks similar, but if you put them next to each other, you could tell that they're different, a different color. So this and this one says painting oiliness, just like this one and N8520. Oh, so that must be that one's style number. I'm saying style number because I'm kind of correlating it to clothing because that's kind of what um, my experience is. But they're pencils, so they might be, it might be called something else. But okay, so that's interesting, a little interesting. So I'm going to sharpen them and swatch them. We'll do a swatch and then we'll come back and do a little comparisons between the two. And I want to see if we have any color matches between the two sets. I did make a swatch chart already. Where did I put it? Oh, I have it underneath here. I made a swatch chart on Canva just because I couldn't find any good 24 swatch sheets on the internet. And I didn't feel like paying for one. So I just made one myself on um, Canva. So it's a little bit wonky. I added these two little faces on the bottom. I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually do anything with them afterwards, but I thought maybe we could test out the colors on there. I copied the numbers from the back of the tin and they're in a different order than they are in the tin originally. So I gotta rearrange them, sharpen them, and then we'll come back with our swatches and we'll test them out a little bit. So let's get started. <music>
I did spend a little time with these. Um, I don't know if you'll notice, I did go back over these swatches. I colored them in a little bit darker. I put a little few more layers on. They do, I believe, are going to be requiring many layers to get the color payoff out of each pencil. And um, the colors, I think, I do like the pinks a lot. I'm really, I'm really happy with the pinks. Like I was thinking when I, when we first took a look at them in the tin, they are a lot of orangey-ish tinge colors um, for like the lighter skin colors. And I didn't look super close yet, but I was just looking my old swatches and these swatches. I did do this on different paper than I did these swatches. This one I did like on a smoother cardstock and this one is a vellum cardstock. So that's why you'll see some um, white shown through here because it's a little bit more of a textured paper. It needs to be um, layered a little bit different than the smoother cardstock. Um, and I, you know, I wasn't doing um, a really careful job. I was just swatching them really fast. But I do like the colors, but for me, I think if I didn't have a skin tone set at all, I, this probably wouldn't be the one I would get. And or if I was a beginner, I probably wouldn't get this one. But I do, like I said earlier, I do have quite a few skin tone sets already. I have the Black Widows. I have the Star Joy Gold has that little section of skin colors that I like a lot. I just got the H&B pencils. Um, you'll see here. I do, oops, it's the other way around. I put my H&B pencils that I got. I'm thinking these might be Brute Funners. That's my suspicion these H&B pencils, but I, I don't know for sure. But um, I'm really loving these pencils a lot. I did do a quick little shorts on these. Um, and I'm working on uh, speed coloring right now on a Lana Green picture. And I use these and I'm really, I'm really happy with these. You'll see here um, in comparison to these colors. Um, this is the skin tone set for the H&B and you'll see like a lot of lighter yellow colors in here so and here you only get like the lightest colors are these kind of um peachy orangey-ish colors which is fine for me because i like that i have the additional colors to add to my already existing um skin tone color kind of collection i have going on over here and um so i'll say that i, I like them for my purposes. I feel like this is a little bit more of an additional set to fit into maybe this 120 set since they are new colors. Some of them might be a little bit similar. Um, like you'll see here, these colors are good, are a little bit more representative of a fair skin tone, I think. So these kind of do kind of fit into the 120 set. But that being said, I did find them a little bit harder than these pencils. I'm going to swatch them side by side and see for sure. Since I haven't used these in a long time, maybe my memory of them might be um, different than real life. But I did think they were harder than these original 120 sets. And I thought they were a little bit less dusty. I did take some time and I colored this face with them. I used... This is um, Momo Girl. Um, I don't know if this is the poetry or might be, I'm not sure. I forget the name of it in English, but I did just get this book. I'll probably show it more when I do by end of the month book haul. But I used, now I didn't, like do any shading or anything I kind of just did a bunch of layers because I was just testing them out really quickly I do want to spend some more time with them um I use this blue and I think I use these colors basically for like the main skin and then I tried these browns out this is 
this is 1050 and 1001 and these three colors I did for her blush so not too bad um, this is pretty nice paper it's like thick paper all right so I've got a piece of paper See what colors let's pull some let's try and pull something similar mm -hmm. this one kind of looks similar to that sugar this one let's pull those two those kind of look similar I did give these color names late last night while I was um, right after I swatched them um, I think I might have repeated some of the names from my 120 set, but oh well. I have this one. Um, let's try this one and this one together. I actually like to pick three different colors. Let's try this. And let's try this blue. try those two. Okay. Alright, so this is the older one, the 120 from the 120 set. Sometimes, admittedly, I remember things being one way and then I come back later and I'll be like, oh, that's totally different than I remember. See, these colors look very similar. Let's look at my swatches. What color is this? They feel pretty similar too on this paper. Hmm. six so this is the 120 color from this is the color from the 120 set then I named it deep space but it's color number 106 and that's this kind of indigo dark color um, Maybe they do. Maybe they are the same. Try it on the back of this paper. I don't have any more of this paper anymore. Feels it does feel a little bit different. Feels better on this paper. This is um, Astro Bright's, um, I think smooth cardstock. So I do like them better on this paper than the one that I'm currently using. Am I getting confused? This is the older 120 set. Mm. And this is the new one. Let me do it again because I, for I forgot which one I just did. Um, so this is the new skin tone set one, right? Yeah. All right. So these are nicer on this paper, I think, this Astro Wright's smooth cardstock. And then this is the 120 set one. Right. Um, so I do see a very slight difference. You might not be able to tell on camera here. This one is a little bit darker, I think, maybe. <laughs> so, um, Let's try it with this kind of 
lavender mauve colors. All right, so the skin one. And this is the 120 set. Yeah, I definitely like it a lot better on this smoother cardstock paper. So, um, the paper really does make all the difference. I, I never kind of um, considered that for the most part. I would kind of just use whatever paper I had. And then I kind of would determine, oh, I don't like these pencils. But um, it, I think it really does come down to the paper you're using. Um, I kind of learned that <laughs> over some time. So, let's, let's see. This is, oh, we're doing the skin tone one first on the smoother cardstock paper. This is the 120 cent. Oh, these are totally different colors. So, the 120 set. So, if you have the 120 set, um, I still need some time, I think, to play around with these a little bit further. Um, I do think if you have the 120 set, um, I would say, sure, why not get these? Um, they are nice. Um, they are different colors even though I, there might be some close colors. Oh, I'm like looking for my other swatch. I'm like, sorry, just for a color on the back of it. Um, yeah, so I think as a standalone set, I wouldn't advise to get it. But if you already have the 120 set or you have other skin tone pencils like in different shades, this might be a good additional set for you to try. I did find these two shades here, this really pale yellow, which I named Candlelight and this green. They did seem to lay down differently than the rest of them, which I thought was kind of interesting. They have a little bit of a shine to them, but maybe that's just the pigments there. They are really, really pale colors. So, and they did layer up really nicely, I think. I am still learning. Uh, I'm not totally confident with like darker skin tones. I do want to practice some more like with using these blues and oranges and skin tones. I use mostly, um, I do use a lot of like yellows and pinks and lighter colors. So this is going to be a learning set for me. A really good YouTube channel that I think you guys, I would advise you guys watch if you want to learn about like skin tones and using a lot of these um, undertone type colors or correction type colors would be Manje Gates. She does some really, really amazing tutorials on skin. I've seen her do like all these different colors and it comes out so beautiful and really lifelike. I'm sure you guys, a lot of you guys have already seen her. She's, she's really good. And um, I really like to watch Karen Valentine. She does really good skin tones. Um, yeah, so those are the ones that I can think of off the top of my head if you're kind of interested in learning about skin tones and mixing all these different colors. I know if you're a beginner, you might see all of these colors and be like, those don't look like skin tones, Crystal. But um, believe me, um, all of these colors like combined and doing different shadings and stuff can create like some really amazing depth and skin tone, different skin tone colors. So check those channels out and let's see do we have anything else to say about these colors um of course now i'm doing this early in the morning so i think you might be hearing the garbage truck um in the background but yeah so i do want to play around with these some more um combine them with some other colors i was thinking they were different than the original and 20 they might be slightly different but not really so they're perfectly fine to work into your 120 set if you have the 120 set or a 72 set whatever color whatever set you have 
Um, you can also work them into if you have the mark art set. They're the same pencils. All right, so that's kind of my first impressions of these. I do like them. Let me know what you guys think. I do think, again, this might be a set for someone who already has the 120 set, and this is a nice addition to add into that set. I don't want you to go thinking that you have to run out and buy skin tone sets if you already have just like regular color sets, because most a lot of sets do have these colors already. Like you'll see at this 120 set, it has it does have some skin tones in here, and you have the um, correction kind of colors in there as well, like but just slightly different shades. You could work with those too. A lot of sets do. Not I'm not I'm not going to say all sets have really good skin tones because some sets don't. But if you have like a bigger set, like a 120 or above, you'll usually they'll have some fairly decent skin tone shades you can work with. So I think we're going to call it a day for this video. Let me know what you guys think of these pencils. I'm happy I got them. They weren't that expensive and they're a good addition to my already existing pencils and sets. So um, th they're not on Amazon yet. I Probably eventually they will. I don't know if they're going to be there under a different name. Maybe they might put them under Mark Hart. So maybe I would wait for these to come on Amazon. I don't think I would rush out and um, buy these on AliExpress. I don't think they're like a must have right away kind of pencil, but they'll probably even be a little bit cheaper once they hit Amazon too. So I would wait on these. I do hope you guys all have a really great day. Happy coloring and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.